Hello, Jared, it's Molly here, and you're watching Trading Cards. Today I'm joined with Pete Alonzo, Kendall Tool, and this little known player from the Indianapolis Racers 1978. We got mystery packs for you today, and I'm starting with a pack from Retro Hero 1006 Dumb Dabs, 36 mini stickers. In this? You've got to be kidding me. Really nice looking gum on this, actually. We can see some of the stickers. We got some balloons. Good news. About time. Kick to start. USA. I'm restless. That one is. That one is very useful. I'm restless. It's got a cool snap to it, too. This is cool gum. Alright, well, we'll just do it like that, I guess. 99% fat. I'll put that one on my face next to Wimp. A garbage bill kid. They got a garbage bill kid on here. Dumb dab funnies. I'm so mixed up, I don't know which end is up. Which make it tough trying to sit down. Which make it tough trying to sit down. It do it do make it tough trying to sit down, that's for sure. 3995, ask me anything. AMA! They have a sticker for AMA. Uh, vampire bait. That's what phones used to look like. And then these are my favorites together. Shut up, I'm the boss. Shut up, I'm the boss. When I heard these were called dumb dabs, I thought it would be like acid. Uh, and then our last card, we got X-rated. That's a cool one. Don't ask. And then the bug showing its butt. Look in here, we got a lemon. Quick drying paint. Oh, that's real quick. Dread him right to the ceiling. All right, dumb dabs. Not actually LSD. Let's go to OPG Hockey. We got 23-24. This is probably the newest season. Are you watching hockey right now? Jeez, it feels like it goes on forever. David Jurashik. I don't like the, 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 the feel of these cards. They're like um, cheap, you know? Not like these dumb dabs. Those cards feel great. Steven Stamkos. Issa Lindell. Oh, we got a marquee rookie, Billy Sweezy. He's got the Sweeze. Quinn Hughes. Now we got a defenseman. He's not even a marquee rookie. Bah. Patrick Lane. Pick a lane. Logan Couture. Oh, Couture. And Patrice Bergeron. Is this guy good? Did he knock us out of the playoffs? I think he knocked us out of the playoffs. We got a pack here from uh, Zach's Collections. Big thanks to Zach. It's Pocahontas. You get eight cards and one pop-out card per pack. It's got a little uh, asterisk over there, so maybe it means odds of finding pop-out cards are one in every pack. Dufex cards are pro uh, approximately one in 36. What's a Dufex? What's a Dufex one? And then you can get the binder. I hope we get a Dufex. One in 36 is probably signed by Pocahontas. Is this a Dufex? No, that's just two guys from the movie. Uh, we got Chief Poetan here. Yep. Oh, what is this? A tree? And then they go on the river sticks. Oh, John Smith laying it down. This guy's hurt, but I think he's getting better. Oh, you see, it looks like he's sweating, but it's probably from the waterfall in the background. And just riding in cannon. I'm king of the world! A lone man approaches the Susan Constant. Unlike the others, he has no well wishes, nor is he going to search for fortune. He is in search of adventure and the perfect land he's always dreamed of. He is Captain John Smith. The men greet him with awe, for he's the legendary explorer whose courageous exploits are known far and wide. And then our pop-out card is of Governor John Ratcliffe. Hi, I'm John Ratcliffe. Where's my dog? All right, well, that was Pocahontas. <laughs> I think we should switch things up and take a look at 2005's Fantastic Four! 
Oh, you could get a Michael Chiklis autograph in here. Hopefully, hopefully it's a Jessica Alba. Looking for a Jessica Alba auto. Come on, Jesse Alves. Jesse Alves autograph in my one pack of Fantastic Four. It's going to happen. Who's this? It's Reed Richards, of course. Have you heard of him? He goes by the name Mr. Fantastic. And he has asked everyone to call him that. That is by request. He has titled himself Mr. Fantastic. I like the comics. I like, oh, sorry. I like Fantastic Four in comics. I don't like the Fantastic Four comics. But when they do the big multi, uh, you know, Civil War type big events, I like seeing the Fantastic Four show up in those events because the the limit to Reed Richards' powers, uh, who knows it? No boundaries. He could be stronger than the Hulk apparently because he can just build his muscle however he wishes. And he's a genius. Inventor, astronaut, and scientific genius. See, it says. Dr. Reed Richards is the leader of an ill-fated space mission funded by his rival, Victor Von Doom. Another character that I like. Is this our Michael Chiklis autograph? No. It's Divide and Conquer. They're just at a diner having coffee. What's going on here? Look at this. The thing's having a for flipping soda and a stack of, a stack of silver dollars. What do they call these? Flapjacks. Behind the scenes. Oh. He actually had to have makeup put on for this role? Get out. I thought he grew all those rocks on his face. The thing is one of the most popular characters in comic book fiction. <laughs> hey, well, uh, excuse me. I'll, uh, I, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom without the flipping mask. Who cares what he looks like under there? I want to see if I get a Dr. Doom, he better be wearing a stupid mask and a green hood. You know what I'm saying? And then they're just got Alba autograph on the space station. It's missing the autograph. We got a, we got a ruddy pack. Flipping ruddy pack with no autograph on it. See there, there's Dr. Doom. That's what I'm talking about. All right, this Fantastic Four pack was a huge bust, but that's okay, because we were saving our luck for Panini Prestige 2023 30 cards hanger pack. We're looking for exclusive Sunburst parallels and a chance to be a kid reporter. I don't want to be a kid reporter. I'm too old for that. I want to be a regular reporter now. Who's got time to be a kid again? Not me. Whoa, hello. Right off the top, we got the best card. Just going to look at a bunch of base after this. We got Powerhouse Mike Evans for the Buccaneers. Foolish analysis might think that Evans' production will take a dip now that the legendary Tom Brady is retired. As mentioned, that's, that's foolish. Sounds like this was written by a kid reporter. Yeah, which you eat? But we got a rookie card uh, for the Seattle Seahawks. This is Jason Jackson Smith Nigba. It's hard to read what their names are on these. Will Anderson Jr. That one's easier, actually. Rookie. Another rookie. Lots of rookies here. Garrett Williams. They just put all of our rookies, I think, at the front. Uh, Frank Bigsby. Okay, no more rookies. We're done with the rookies. If you were here just for the rookies, get out of here. Boomer uh, Zion. Kyle Pitts. Donovan Peoples Jones. Andre Reed. These cards are nice. I really like these cards. Panini, they make a good looking card. They, they do a good looking card. You know what I'm saying? Uh, way better than tops. The problem with Panini is that they mess around with the autographs, they mess around with the inserts, they have problems in the organization, they don't have a lot of money, they might go bankrupt, you never know what's going on with Panini, that's the issue with Panini, we got Luke Kulchi, 
John er, er, Keith Byers uh, Devante Smith Mark Gatton some of these guys play different positions uh, Brees Hall like this guy he plays the position where if you get the ball you gotta run with it you can't mess around you gotta just keep pushing forward you know this guy he doesn't need the ball Lawrence Taylor he just he just, looks like one of those guys who just smashes he looks like uh, Michael Chiklis in Fantastic Four we got Carl Banks uh oh this guy looks like one of the guys that runs way up the field and goes hey hey over here that's what he looks like to me I don't know though maybe all these guys are just smashers we got Faye Olukun, Olukun Randy Thomas JJ what's with the J's at the end Alec Pierce John B3 Andre Johnson the gloss is so nice on these John Alexander and the Marvin Jones Jr. or as I like to call him Mojo we got a few more cards here these are I think slightly special ones whoa check this out huh extra points Frankie uh, Louvre the Louvre Frankie the Louvre but look at how this card blows up he had the Holy Trinity behind him. Got a Nikki Bosa. See what this card's gonna look like. Ah, it's another one. I'm blind now. Oh, it was so nice. The days when I used to be able to see before Nikki Bosa destroyed my eyesight. And then we got a, for the record, Adam Vinatieri. Looks like I'm gonna take a wild guess. Say this guy was a kicker. Don't ask how I know. And we got a time stamped 421. Ah, oh, I know that's right after you. Uh, dashing past the Seattle defense for a TD in overtime. This guy's like, it's past 420 somewhere. And then we have prestigious pros. Tariq Hill for the Dolphins. Laces out. Hill's first season in Miami put all the talk about uh, his success coming as a byproduct of Kansas City to rest. The fourth time all pro speed threat at a monster year in 2022. Putting up career highs in yards, receptions, and setting Dolphins team records in both categories. Stop the presses. We got a new hit on our hands. So that's football. I don't know if you all know this, but I don't watch it. Well, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye.